Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brie Extra. And today I'm gonna be showing you all how I got this look. If you're interested, stay tuned. And a big shout out to Love Me Hair for sponsoring today's video. Before we get into the video, I'm just going to be showing you the unboxing. First of all, Love Me Hair then did a little something different to the box. I'm loving it and I love the color. Purple is my favorite color. So what you're going to get in your box, you're going to get a clip, a scarf for the edges, a purple comb. I love that. A wig cap and of course your hair. So today is something different y'all. We are doing something different. So I told y'all that I'm going to be doing more natural hairstyles. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to do a quick weave. My very very first quick weave um, with four bundles of body waves. Y'all this hair is so beautiful. You don't even really need this much but stay tuned girl. Stay tuned. Okay, so here are the products that I'm going to be using in today's video and of course a cap. But first, I'm going to go ahead and start braiding my hair. I am going to be doing a side part tutorial today. Um, Y'all listen, this video is a learn together video because I had no idea what I was doing. But I seen a bunch of videos and it looked easy. Um, and I really want to, I've really been wanting to try a quick weave on me. I've had a quick weave before once in my life when I was like in eighth grade, no ninth grade. And, uh, yeah, that was like a long time ago. And I'm just seeing the girls with their hair all did and done. And, you know, I just want to see what this quick weave, quick weave lifestyle is all about. And y'all, so far, I'm loving it, and I will give you all my final thoughts at the end of the video. But until then, I'm going to take y'all step by step on what I did. So I'm just about done braiding my hair. I'm just going to go back and braid the front because I already want to have the part um, set for when I'm done laying the tracks. And next, I'm going to go in with this gel protector or shield. Um, Y'all, first of all, I was not playing about my hair, okay? I put so much of this stuff on my hair because I do not want that glue seeping through that cap. So what I did was put it on my hair first. Um, and I made sure I got every crack and corner, okay? I was not playing. I even got my man of God to literally do make sure the back was all slathered in that stuff and next i added on my cap now i do see people like add the cap on first and then add the stuff on there but like i said i needed i need to make sure that no glue was going to seep through um so i just once i put the cap on i added some more of the stuff and then of course i cut out the holes in the ear and just to be extra protected i added got to be glue spray and next i just went over with my blow dryer now i do recommend if you have a hair dryer that you can just sit under i would recommend you using that because you're going to be blow drying your hair for a long time so i definitely think i'm gonna invest in one of those because who got time okay now this part was very tedious okay i don't know if y'all see me put on my glasses because your girl cannot see and i was not trying to cut my hair but this is how it should look once you once it is completely dry and once you cut, cut it out. And then next, I'm just starting with the first bundle. 
and I see a lot of people just taking a huge track and wrapping it all the way around. I'm not there yet. Okay, I'm not there yet. So I had to start on each side. Um, so what I did was just cut the track from the front of my head into the back of my head. And I did the same thing on the other side. And I found that this was so much easier than trying to glue a whole track and try to wrap it around your head. Maybe one day I'll get there, but not today. But I'm going to continue to do that. I'm basically making a U shape the way until I get up to the top of my head. And then you'll start seeing me make um, like kind of like a C. Like I can't explain it. If you're a visual learner, then just look closely. I forgot to mention in the beginning that these are all 22 inches long. And y'all, when I tell y'all I had to check the um, tag on the hair to make sure these are 22 inches because honestly, these look like a 24 inch, 26 inch on me. And in reference, I am 5'2", so I don't know if that may be the reason, but girl, this, this hair goes all the way down to my butt. And y'all, this was just one bundle. One bundle. Do you see how full this hair is? I was very shocked because at first I thought the bundles was thin. But girl, like you can really, if you really want to, you can really just use two, tra two bundles. But I wouldn't recommend that. I like my hair thick. So um, I would say three definitely. You should be good with three. But y'all know I'm extra. Okay, I got to add that fourth bundle. I'm not going to lie, when I got up to the top, it was a little tricky for me. But once I started realizing like, okay, I just need to curve the track more um, and just like follow the way I have my part, it was really easy. So this is how mine turned out. Like I said, I am a beginner at this, so I don't know if I'm doing this right, but it laid pretty good and it's still laying pretty good for me um and then of course once you're done with that you are gonna need to go over with your blow dryer just to make sure that all of the glue is dry 90 percent of the tracks are already dry just because you know it took me about what a whole maybe two hours doing this because i was so scared and i just wanted to make sure i was doing everything right so once I was done making sure the hair was fully dry, I did go back over the hair just to sh uh, blow dry it and sh straighten it out some so y'all can get the true length and also see how well the hair straightens before I curl it. Y'all, this hair is so beautiful, like so beautiful. Okay, so after I straighten the hair, I'm just going over and I'm doing the foam method. Normally, not the foam, the mousse method when you put the foam all over your head and then you blow dry it and y'all when i tell you that i am going to be doing this from now on i didn't have any flyaways so whoever came up with this idea you deserve a trophy okay um so this is what i'm doing i'm just going over the hair and of course straightening my leave out Okay, let's get into the luster of this hair because this hair is giving, okay? Um, so now that I'm done straightening the hair and my leave out, um, I just wanted to show you all how flat it was in the front. Now on the back, girl, I think what I'm gonna do next time is make sure that my, my hair is in like a low, low braid in the back just so when I you know wear it decide to wear it straight you can't really see that bump in the back which you can't really see it that much but i see it i see a little bump so it annoys me but um that's the only thing that i would do differently next time now this hair did hold a curl very well 
Um, however, they only lasted for about a couple of hours and then like they dropped to like very loose curls. I feel like if you're wanting that tight, tight curl, um, you would probably need to use a smaller barrel and also maybe try doing the, um, the you know, when you wrap your hair around the sock method or um, once you're done curling your hair, you can add a roller in to, you know, just set the curls. I think that the curls would last longer that way. So far, I'm really loving this hair, y'all. I have been to the gym with this hair twice. Haven't experienced any matting as of yet, any tangling. Um, not really much setting either. The hair is very, very nice. Um, and again, y'all, I did use about three bundles in a half. I didn't use all of the fourth bundle. But y'all, you could really just go with three bundles if you were wanting a full look. But y'all know I'm extra and I need, I like thick, thick hair. So y'all, I would highly recommend this hair. I wish I can keep this hair in longer, but I have other promos that I have to do. But y'all, I highly recommend y'all checking out Love Me Hair Bundles. And I'm pretty sure they always have like great deals. And if I have a code, I will definitely leave that down below so you can also save some money. Shout out again to Love Me Hair for sponsoring today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope y'all be blessed and never stressed. Bye.